Hi everyone, today we have a new video introducing us to the latest POCO devices. Now of course when it comes to POCO and of course your media kit kind of style, you get this nice case. It's quite funny that you actually get that, but it's kind of cool. Either way, let's talk about the latest releases of the POCO M5 and of course M5S. Now let's start with the regular M5 because there is quite a similarity to of course the M4 that I reviewed not so long ago and if you are curious link in the description for that video but straight away you can see that they used the design itself from the Poco M4 there are some changes however of course you do have that extra camera if you want to call it that because it's a 2 megapixel sensor and of course the texture on the back has changed which is something that I actually like it reminds me of the Note 4 Kind of style when it comes to this texture it does allow that to feel better in the hand because of that grip itself so in terms of texture definitely nice and i do like the design implementation that we have right here something that reminisces somewhat of the pixel 6 series but also of course just a little bit different either way i do like the design itself now of course the poco m5 comes with that new cpu the helio g99 it comes with of course a 90 hertz LCD panel and in terms of battery a 5000 milliampere hour battery as well when it comes to what you get in the box itself of course you get an extra screen protector you get your papers and of course a case as well your cable and of course your charging now charging itself is at 18 watt for the Poco M5 just like of course the Poco M4 and that's going to be a reference a lot of times and if you want to see a comparison between the two phones let me know in the comments below if you do wish to see that either way that's the poco m5 it's a pretty simple phone and it's about 180 to 200 euros it's hard to say right now but that's about the price that you will pay for a device like this now however the more interesting phone for me at least is the poco m5s now it does have of course a different cpu inside it doesn't come with the helio g99 it comes with the helio g95 but there are some things that are changed. For instance, it has faster charging with 33 watts charging. And of course you do actually have an ultra wide. Yes, you still have of course your two useless cameras next to it as well, but it does come with an ultra wide and it's an AMOLED display. However, it is only 60 Hertz. So if you care about that, well, it doesn't come with a 90 Hertz or 120 Hertz AMOLED panel, but the AMOLED panel definitely is better. About 1000 to 1100 nits where with the Poco M5, it's about 500 nits so definitely quite a bit lower and you can definitely tell if you are taking pictures outside either way my poco m5s comes with of course this white color it has that matte white look to it with the poco logo and of course the camera effects being a more black to silver appearance i actually like that in terms of approach itself when it comes to unboxing it no surprise you get a case inside here as well you see an ejection tool and so on and screen protector of course your charging brick which is 33 watts and of course you do get your cable as well both of these phones offer quite a lot actually when it comes to just basic standard features that you should have on a phone so let's talk about it the poco m5 and of course the poco m5s both come with a headphone jack however it is located differently at the bottom for of course the poco m5s and at the top for the poco m5 when it comes to dual sim yeah you do actually have that for the poco m5 and the m5s not to mention that you can also insert a micro sd in it as well then of course as stated you get a charger so for less money you, you get more basic features and by the way for the poco m5 as stated about 180 to 200 euros where the poco m5s is of course about 220 to 240 if i'm correct again i haven't gotten official numbers when it comes to the price itself but that's about the price that you will pay for devices like this also something that is actually quite nice is that with the poco m5s you actually get a little bit of protection against water now it's not water resistant but again it's nice to see that you actually get that little bit of protection against water itself so both the poco m5 and of course m5s share a lot of similarities but also quite a bit of a difference between the two in terms of approach the main camera for the poco m5 for instance is that 50 megapixel sensor and then you have to two megapixel sensors and as stated with of course the poco m5s you get a 64 megapixel main sensor 
with two useless ones, but also an ultra wide, which is something that you don't get on the Poco M5. In terms of display, there's also a different approach apart from AMOLED and of course having the brighter display on the Poco M5s, you do get actually a cutout and of course a teardrop when it comes to the M5 itself. So there's a difference here as well. Now both of these phones also have a side mounted fingerprint scanner and that's of course pretty standard when it comes to phones like this. When it comes to what version I'm using, there's actually a difference. I am using MIUI Global 13.01 on the Poco M5s, where it's 13.02 on the Poco M5. When it comes to memory, I get 128 gigabytes, but as stated, you can expand that. In terms of RAM, both of them come with six gigabytes of RAM, and of course, Fire Software, that extra too. When it comes to the Poco M5, it will have with, of course, the G99 compared to the G95. But the Poco M5s definitely has some statements about it as well. The Poco M5 might come with the G95, but in terms of display, it's an AMOLED display that does get brighter by itself. Not to mention that you get dual speakers as well, and of course that ultra wide compared to no ultra wide at all on the Poco M5. Again, it really depends on which one has your preference here. I do have to say that the Poco M4, for instance, had great battery life, and I expect the same for the Poco M5. However, I haven't tested properly either of these devices to give you an opinion about it so far. Because of course I'm testing different phones right now as well, so they have to wait a little bit. But I do want to know which one you are more interested in, when it comes to the Poco M5s or the Poco M5. Which one would you like to see covered first? Is it the Poco M5s or the Poco M5? Let me know in the comments below. But either way, when you are looking for a new device, both of these devices are interesting, but not the only ones that are on the list. The Poco M5, I find a little bit less interesting compared to the Poco M5s. But when it comes to it, honestly, there is a lot of phones out there on the market itself from Poco and Xiaomi as well, with great options out there like the Note 11 series and so on. Either way, let me know what you think about these devices. And as stated, let me know which one you want to see covered first, the Poco M5 or the Poco M5s. And of course, if you want to see a comparison between the Poco M5 and the Poco M4. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this short unboxing of, of course, the newer Poco M5 and M5s. And I said that many times now. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and all that stuff. And of course, talk to you guys in the next.